So uh, we're, we're we got to be with you. we got started. You want me to get you up to speed with what we've done? We're 13 minutes into the tourniquet. Uh, we're we're ready for whatever you whatever you'd like to go ahead with. But we uh, we haven't presented your case yet. So if we want, we can go ahead and, and do that real quickly if you'd like. Present the case, and I'll put in a few instruments, uh, and then come back to me, and I'll let right. you know where we're at. Steve, time. terrific. So we're uh, 15 minutes into tourniquet now. I started the Palmaris, he has a Palmaris, and uh, we started the Palmaris harvest and also some exposure to the UCL, but did not harvest yet so I could demonstrate some of the principles. We started out first, as you may have saw in the video, dynamic exam in the holding area. We illustrated the Palmaris, so I know its course. Then we made a distal incision, about four or five centimeters proximal, a second incision. I actually make this incision first because I find it's the easiest to identify the palmaris. Here's our palmaris, you can see it here, and then we can capture it with one of our clamps. And we can simply leave the clamp and control the palmaris in this way. And then we can do the same at the distal incision. And of course, we're being careful, understanding that if the patient doesn't have a palmaris, the first structure that you would see would be the median nerve. 